Yo, when Lisa Page, Peter Strzok, Deep State, Andrew McCabe, James Comey, Robert Mueller, when these fools sat back at the FBI, man, you see, man, there's such an embedded, inherent, because it was, it was, it was inherited from, guess who, I blogged about it forever, that's right, the name's on the side of the building, J. Edgar Hoover, culture, such an ingrained, embedded, inherent, inherited culture of above the law mentality with rogues at the FBI, man. Just rogues at the FBI, man, setting people up, man. Attempting to set people up, staging up shit, doctoring up shit, man. Motherfuckers just running amok in our government, man. And a Justice Department that was rigged up looking the other way. Man, imagine the shit that these people have done that you just don't even fucking know about, man. That you just, you can't even fucking fathom the shit that they've done. Because that's how much dirt they've done. The volume of the fucking dirt that they've done. You see, that's the thing, man. A lot of people don't understand. It's not just the attempted coup against Donald Trump. That's not all that these people have done, man. These people have been involved in a very systematic, very calculated, very meticulous process of rigging up society, acting above the law, and doing whatever the fuck they damn well pleased while at the helm of the FBI. While deeply in, embedded as moles in our government at the FBI. And then they have the motherfucking nerve. These arrogant, conceited, asshole motherfuckers. They then have the nerve to complain that they've somehow been wronged by the system. What type of sick, motherfucking, despicable, despicable motherfucking mindset is that? These people are bad actors involved in maximum treason treason literally treason now some would argue well treason can only take place in a time of war growth yeah it is a time of war it's called the global war on terror we've been at war since 2001 september 11 because our country was attacked by terrorists terrorists within our government that is those are the rogues the rogue moles at FBI, James Comey, Robert Mueller, the Saudi perpetrators who were in that matrix, in that threat matrix, part of that threat matrix, because our government knew and had intelligence information from an expert, an expert FBI analyst, Colleen Rally. <clears throat> they want for people, they want for people to forget and not even know about Colleen Rally. That's what they're hoping. They're hoping that people don't know who she is and that people who know who she is forget who she is. They they don't want you to know that they let 9-11 happen. They want <clears throat> for you who know that it was a setup, they want for you to be pegged as conspiracy theorists because that's how they got their expanded police powers. And look what they were doing with their expanded police powers. Sitting in these motherfucking offices, man. Staging up shit. Trying to interfere with the elections process. With our United States American government elections process, man. These people are motherfucking traitors to America. Plain and fucking simple. We're not, man. People, (coughs) people, man, have gone to prison for tax evasion. Federal fucking prison. And petty shit. How much time do you think these people should get, man? I think they should get life in prison, man. Honestly, in an ideal world, they get the motherfucking death penalty, man. Hey, man, these people try to overthrow a sitting, acting, duly elected, standing president of the United States.